aside from the tractor. Uh, the spring bale countdown is on. I've got only 45 bales a day, and I've got 21 days left, so it's 110 bales plus a few extra for my replacement heifers. So we're going to go with 130. I got 130 bales left to feed, and then I'm going to feed until fall. So the countdown is on. 130 bales. Come on. Cheer with me. short straw or whatever you want to call it and I get all the top bales all three bales I feed today are off the top of the stack definitely scare the crap out of me when they're up that high so I have to feed three from way up there crazy the farm girl waiting for something to do. Farm kids caught in action. So little man here was driving dad's quad and the battery isn't super strong so it died on him. And instead of asking for help, he's gone to the house to get the booster pack to boost the quad. And get it running so that he can keep helping mom. Tell you, that's a smart kid right there. Super proud of that boy. Did I start? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Good job, buddy. Pull it apart. Let's get back to feeding. Good job, guys.
they would answer that question while I'm feeding it. Just gotta readjust this bale. So give me a second. We feed till June 1st when they go to grass. We don't give them any grass till June 1st. We let our bulls out anywhere between May 1st and May 10th. And we find for our program that if we keep them on hay and away from the grass until June 1st, it gives our bulls a chance to breed without everybody being interested in green grass. Um, and it also gives the green grass that is growing a chance to start maturing a bit before the cows feed it right down to nothing. So we feed until the 1st of June. All right, so I'm on to the oat bales, which yesterday when I fed, I got lucky and Bruce um, pulled them out of the sack for me. Today, well, today I get to do it. So this is the little wet, little mucky. Um, and when I said earlier that the top of the bale stack, you know, puckered by butt cheeks. Yeah, this kind of goes in the same, uh, kind of the same thing. There's a rut to the one side of me that I don't want to fall into. Um, these are all like vacuum sealed together, which I gotta try and pull them apart. Come on. There we go. Um, ooh, a little bit soft. And there's another bale stack to the other side of me that I don't want to back into as I'm backing out of here. Alrighty. up in that rut, but no, we got him. So, now we hold this bale and the one I previously pulled out, out of this field. This is actually our hay field. Ah, do a little work to it, I guess, and replant some grass. And, uh, yeah, take this lovely, Silage oats over to my cows who are patiently waiting for the barrier where my children are standing. So we back into this big old heavy bale back here. And we two at a timer out of the hay field. Maybe. There we go. Poor girl. She's got to work. Pull. Get out here soon and hair all this. It's starting to dry up. Green grass is starting to poke up. So, all right, haul these oats over to the girls. How am I supposed to get any work done? Stop scratching on my unroller. Blaming you when it breaks. Come on, stop it. day. I had a friend post that she had some patio chairs that she was willing to give away and I was like yeah I need them for my deck and I jumped on them like a fat kid on a smarty and ran and got them and then someone said well I have a table to match those chairs so this girl this farm girl is super stoked to get home to clean up that stuff to do it on my patio because now I have patio furniture and we can enjoy the sunshine. Super exciting. <laughs> Today's daily rambling. Check it out, my free table and chairs. So we have one for the chairs there and then I'm gonna redecorate this a little bit. Make it the fifth chair. Super happy. Kids and I are gonna eat lunch out here for the first meal at the table on our deck. Yay!